so hi and hello there welcome to the new video of the course and in this particular video we are going to see two basic definition the very first definition is electronic device electronic electronic device okay so let me change the color of the pen and we'll proceed with this particular definition so yeah so device what is the definition of electronic device so basically definition of this particular electronic device is th that a device a device made from made from semiconductor material semiconductor material semiconductor material okay and the example of this particular thing is let me just write it over here the example is transistors transistors diodes diodes and many more things etc okay now moving further with the second definition so the second definition is electronic circuit electronic electronic circuit circuit and the definition for the electronic circuit is a circuit a circuit which consists which consists at least at least one electronic one electronic device one electronic device as a main component as a main as a main component Com oh sorry component and e and t okay let me move it little above so that i may get enough space to write certain things okay a circuit which consists at least one electronic uh, device as a main component okay and the it it is bifurcated into three the very first type so basically electronic uh, circuit is further bifurcated into three the very first type is i'll write as a the very first type is analog circuit analog circuit okay analog circuit and in analog circuit uh, i mean analog circuit is a circuit which processes analog signal and all so we'll see this particular thing okay, in the uh, upcoming videos but let me just give you example so the example of the analog circuit is maybe amplifier amplifier maybe rectifier etc okay amplifier rectifier clipper circuits etc then moving further with uh, the other type it is digital circuits digital digital circuits digital circuits an example of the digital circuits are example logic gates maybe mux dmux etc but as of now i'll just write a simple simple examples okay logic gates and then there is one more circuit and that particular circuit is known as mixed circuit just a second the third type of this particular electronic circuit is mixed circuit or mixed signal circuit mixed signal mixed signal circuit okay mixed signal circuit and the example of this particular mixed signal circuit is so the example is maybe adc analog to digital converter or dac digital to analog converter okay i know that you you might not that much familiar with this particular thing okay so we'll see this particular thing in the upcoming courses so you need not worry about this particular part as of now okay we had completed or we had partially completed this particular topic in our previous course right we had completed or we had partially completed this particular topic okay we are about to start this particular topic and we are going to start this particular topic in some future courses okay so you need not worry about this particular part so let me highlight this particular thing and we will proceed further okay so this was your second definition what was electronic circuit this was your first definition electronic device so again we'll quickly revise what we had studied 
so electronic device so basically any device which is made from a semiconductor material so semi we all know that semiconductor material is nothing but p or n type right so semiconductor means what p or n type material okay when we fuse together we uh, we we are making what we are making a diode or basically a diode is formed right when uh, three such uh, uh, like when three such layers are combined or fused like p n p or n p n a transistor is formed so th basically these two particular examples are what these two particular examples fall under electronic device okay but what exactly happens when we actually uh, make a circuit with the help of this uh, this particular thing or with the help of any of this particular component like for example if i am taking one transistor and if i am connecting certain resistors or if i am taking diode if i am connecting it with voltage and resistor right so this becomes a circuit and that particular circuit is known as what electronic circuit but the thing is that it is not at all necessary that each and every time we will connect transistor diodes we might connect any ic okay and when it when i refer to any ic that means what i'm talking about digital electronics maybe ic 70 etc like and gate or gate okay so basically electronic circuit is further bifurcated into two sorry into three analog circuit example for that are amplifier rectifier clipper circuit etc then digital circuit so example of digital circuits are mux counters logic gates etc and the third is mixed signal circuit so example for that is adc dac etc okay i hope you understood this part of the thing now moving further let me ask you one question and that question is what was the need or what is the significance of digital circuit okay or basically why digital circuit came into existence so let me ask you one question just a second what was the need of the digital circuit or what was the need what was the need of digital circuits or digital electronics i will write digital circuit or digital electronic so try to think in your mind that what exactly is the need for the digital digital electronics because the thing is that see now if you tell that we need to process certain signal so that is also possible with the help of the analog circuit as well okay but then why we are you know using digital electronics or digital circuits okay because processing and all that can be done with the help of analog electronics as well okay so try to think in your mind okay all right so i hope that you might have uh thought in your minds you might have certain thoughts in your mind about the dig digital electronics but let me tell you the basic fundamental or the basic uh, significance of this particular digital electronics is storage storage just a second let me highlight this part of the thing so the basic fundamental application or the basic significance fundamental significance funda mental fundamental significance fundamental significance or need of digital electronics is of digital electronics digital electronics is storage is storage or is storing storage storage so let me give you one example so i hope that each and every one of you who are you know listening to this particular lecture maybe you are listening from your laptops okay or from your smartphone so for example i am taking a smartphone right a smartphone you can also take your laptops okay so we all know that smartphone has certain very uh, varieties of uh, storage okay so for example uh, it has 4 gb of ram right so let's suppose this is your ram so it has 4 gb of ram right and maybe 64 gb of rom or storage we, which we call 64 gb read only memory right maybe some of you all guys may be having 6 gb 128 gb right this particular configuration maybe some of you all guys may be having 8 gb and 256 gb right 8 gb of ram and 256 gb of memory that means what basically if i'm going down so what i'm doing i'm increasing the storage right i'm increasing the storage increasing the storage increasing the storage right so that means what see what this particular rom does okay what it what it does so it stores your images right it stores your 
images maybe it should be in a dot p a dot jpg and all that's different scenario it stores your videos right your documents your uh maybe text text format okay text etc etc right etc all of these things so what if i tell to you that it can be only done with the help of digital electronics it can be on oh sorry let me take certain different color maybe uh, yeah this one will do so this can only be done storing can only be done with the help of storing the storing of this particular uh, things can only be done storing can only be done with the help of with the help of digital electronics with the help of digital electronics no doubt that uh, just a second digital electronics yeah no doubt that uh, you know it can be stored in the uh, chronics right it, in some ICs or something like that as of now you don't have any idea I know that maybe there might be certain IC okay which would be or there might be anything like any compartment of IC or maybe an, a certain IC assigned for storing okay okay but the thing is that this particular IC has certain fundamental blocks of the digital electronics okay and that is responsible for storing I hope you are getting my point so basically long story short the fundamental significance of digital electronics or the basic uh, 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 what I can say advantage or the basic need of the digital electronics is what storage okay and this is where analog electronics will we'll see this particular topic in the next video okay that how exactly analog electronics fail when it comes to storing and how exactly digital electronics uh, takes this particular advantage okay so I hope that you understood uh, these two particular definitions right and the three types of electronic circuits and then we also saw the fundamental significance of digital electronics okay so if you have any doubts feel free to ask me at any time